Hey, what's up YouTube? Let's talk about cycling fitness again and let's talk about yoga. Now I don't know if you've ever done yoga, if you've experienced any yoga or yoga poses, yoga moves, there are multiple kinds of yoga out there. What I'm most familiar with is Ashtang, it's called Ashtanga, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's uh, sort of more fluid, more movements. Uh, I first experienced it in the P90X world with their yoga section that was included. Had never done yoga in my life. And I wanted to talk today about how does yoga fit into cycling. And I think it's extremely beneficial. And we're gonna talk about four main reasons that I believe yoga will be helpful for cycling. Number one is strength and core. So everything in biking and cycling is really a lot of core work. We always think about legs, but the reality is, is core is a large part of it. And yoga really focuses in on core. Now, I know that traditionally I always thought yoga was all about being flexible and a rubber moving rubber band and all that good jazz. But the reality is, is that I find it's a lot of core work the moves are interesting um, they really do work um, a different set of muscles than what you are going to use on the bike but where I find the benefit is when I'm spending all that time in the saddle all of that core really helps with the saddle time and being able to hold up for the long rides and the tours um, pedaling and everything leaning over the bike kind of the the shoulder and the back uh, strength yoga is great for that so if you haven't uh, experienced yoga find some uh, YouTube videos or something out there with some yoga exercises on it give it a try and see how it works your core and how it develops uh, the strength in your core shoulders and also in your uh, midsection number two is flexibility obviously yoga has been built designed for increasing your flexibility. Where I find that is really important on the bike are hamstrings, leg, uh, in, legs in general, hip flexors and hip uh, flexibility. It seems like after a long ride, I don't know if you've experienced this, my hip flexors will be really tight, hamstrings will be really tight, uh, even calves, sometimes calf muscles will be really tight. So yoga really helps you with the flexibility. Now you can do stretches, everybody knows, you can do stretches before you go on a bike ride and after. But the fact is, until you focus in on a yoga routine, you'll find that your flexibility will go up greatly. After a 45 minute session of yoga, or depending on what you do, 45 minutes, some of them go up to an hour and a half if you really wanna push it. But when you come out of that, you're as probably as limber as you've been in a week, uh, if you do it weekly. In the entire week, that'll be the most flexible you will feel. So I find that it really helps if I do these yoga routines. My hip flexors will be much more loosened up. My hamstrings will feel much better even before the ride and after. And those calf muscles won't be nearly as tight. So I can put in those 20, 30, 40, 50 mile days, even 60 at some point sometimes, where I get off the bike and I'm just not as sore, I don't feel as, as uh, fatigued is a great, a great word probably. So think about yoga from the perspective of the benefits of the mobility and the flexibility, particularly as you get older guys. I hate to tell you, the older you get, flexibility and mobility are gonna become some of the things you're gonna value the most. So. Flexibility is one of the keys that yoga will really help you develop. Number three is breath work. Believe it or not, a big part of yoga is the breathing. Yes, I know some people think it's a lot of mumbo jumbo, but the reality is you really do focus on your breath work while you're doing yoga. Um, I find that some of the hardest work that I do in workouts comes when doing yoga. I can do 45 minutes of yoga and I am just in a flop sweat by the end of that thing. Even though I'm not moving fast or what I would consider rigorously, the reality is, is I'm working sections of my body that normally don't get attention. So I come out of that thing just covered in sweat, muscles are fatigued and, and sore afterwards and, and worked out that I've 
haven't felt worked out in years. So that combined with the breath work really does help improve your biking. So I don't know how many of you guys have been on a bike ride, maybe it's a long tour or, or a ride, and you just sort of get in the zone, sort of in the focus, and you can feel your breath coming and going, and you're really focused in, and it's almost, almost like meditation in a way, where you're listening to the sounds, the road sounds, and the bike sounds, and the pedal sounds. This is really a lot like that from just a little bit of a different perspective though, but it really does help you work on your breath work and focus on breathing deeply, good air intake in and out, breathing low in the belly, which is really using your diaphragm, which is important when biking as well. Number four, and I think really a very important part of this as well is injury prevention. So I find that doing the stretching, doing the flexibility and mobility work, the strengthening of the core muscles really helps prevent potential for injuries. That means both in your legs by really getting good stretch and mobility in those hamstrings and calf muscles and hip flexors, but also in the core and the lower back. As a biker, you spend a lot of time bent over on your bike when you're riding, depending on the style of bike you have in particular. Most of us though are bent over to some degree and you're gonna feel that lower back work from sitting on the bike, sitting on the saddle, it's kind of pounding on your spine a little bit. Injury protection comes from working those muscles routinely that you use all the time. And on the bike, the closest thing you're gonna to get to that similar workout is going to be some yoga work. If you don't believe me, try it. It will make a difference in your core, it will make a difference in your mobility, your flexibility, it'll make you more resilient when it comes to avoiding those injuries. I know a lot of guys that pull a hamstring or they've got cramps uh, you know, down in their calf muscles or their hip flexors are just killing them. Day two comes along and they're trying to do that second day of the tour and they're just dying. Uh, you know, Time in the saddle is only gonna do so much, you gotta work on those other areas. And as you age, that flexibility, mobility, strengthening of your core, the breath work, it's all gonna be imperative to preventing injury, keeping you doing what you love, which is riding the bike, seeing the country and enjoying things and not focused on all the things that have broken down in your body because you didn't take care of yourself. So it's not only diet and it's not only some weight training, it's not only time in the saddle out there, but also guys focus on the mobility, flexibility, your strength of your core, get out there and try some yoga, Give it 30 minutes. Encourage you to try 30 minutes of a shtange style yoga somewhere. And uh, I think you'll find the benefits are good if you can make yourself do it. If you like it, keep it up. It will make a difference. It does get better with time. You're gonna become stronger. You're gonna become better at all those crazy poses they have you do and all those stretches that you do. Your mobility is gonna get better. You're gonna feel better at the end of that ride. I hope this has been helpful. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, share this with your friends. We'll see you again soon.